the conversation she's having with Jesus gets to a point where um, she realizes that she, she, Jesus tells her that he is Christ. But before that happens, let's try to um, see how that came about. Amen. Let's try to see how that came about. Now, let's read the verse 24. Jesus said, God is spirit and the ones worshiping him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Verse 23, verse 25. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, the one called Christ. <laughs> when that one comes, he will announce to us all the things. Some of the Bible translations say he will teach us everything. Amen. He will teach us everything. So the woman saying this points out to me that she was searching for something beyond what she sees. Amen. In, in the everyday life. Amen. She was searching beyond. She was searching for something that could, could quench her thirst because in the in the previous verses, she indeed said that. Amen. She was searching for something deeper than what she just sees around her. Amen. So she's talking about the Messiah. This is somebody that is truly seeking life. Amen. She communicates with Jesus. She communicates with him. And in, 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 the, in, the, in the course of that, she gains the most... Uh, Amen. Uh, 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 the climax Amen. So let's let's relation. let's go into what this lady says next. Amen. Okay, so John chapter four, verse twenty-five. Verse twenty-five. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, the one called Christ. When that one comes, he will announce to us all things. Jesus said to her, I am the one speaking to you. So at this point, because by reason of communication, by reason of conversation and relationship, in our time we would say intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, she gains the climax of all revelation about the man that he meets, that she meets at the well, that he is the Christ. Amen. Now, something marvelous happens here. We will we will go into all of that. So so this this whole text have just tells me that this woman was a woman of great faith amen she was a woman even even though she was living in sin jesus said that he came for what those that are sick not those that think that they are well amen he came for the sick amen so so even though she was living in sin she was able to believe amen as a result of what? She was able to gain revelation as a result of communication, as a result of conversation, as a result, re result of intimate relationship with Christ Jesus. Amen. So let, let's go into what happens after that. The Bible says that after she learns that Christ, uh, that the man that he's talking with is the Messiah, Amen. That the man he's talking with is the Messiah. What does she do? And and, and there is something I believe I, I have already said this. There's something uh intel very she was very intelligent. Any when she realized that Jesus was the prophet, she started talking about where we where we have to worship God. Then she goes into then she says that I know the Messiah is coming because she knows that this prophet will be able to tell her when or how or this or at least give her information. So, so immediately she realized Jesus was a prophet and she says, well, I know the Messiah is coming. He will teach us everything. You understand? She was probing this afternoon, this morning, this evening. Are you probing? Amen. Are you pushing forth? Are you pushing forward in the things of God to know God inside and outside? Amen. If you are, then I can assure you that he will move and he will glorify himself through you. Amen. So the Bible says when at this point the disciples come, you see the you see the perfect timing of God because God in His consummate wisdom understood that maybe if the disciples were there, it would have messed with the flow of the Spirit a little bit because they don't they would not understand why Jesus is talking to a woman of Samaria, Amen. But He's not a respecter of persons, my brother, my sister. He's not. So so He the woman got her revelation immediately after she got her revelation. Then the disciples came. Amen. 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 So so this is what I've been waiting to tell you here. The woman came there to get water. She came there with her vessel to fetch water. She came there with her pot to fetch water, right? 
That is the only reason she came to the well. But God had different reasons and purposes for her at the well. Amen. She came there. But the Bible says that when she found out that Christ, that Jesus was the Christ, the man she was talking with is the Messiah, the Bible says she dropped her pot. Oh my God. She dropped her bucket. She dropped her vessel, whatever she came there with. She dropped it and she ran into the town. Amen. If I would put it in this way, she dropped the perishable water. For an imperishable one. Because Jesus says she, he will give her or anybody living water. Amen. That will become a fountain of water. And they will never thirst. So she drops her perishable water for an imperishable one. Hallelujah somebody. And because by reason of her conversation with Jesus. By reason of her communication. Because of her intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. She was able to. To gain revelation. And as a result of revelation. She, she gained her ministry. Do you know what her ministry was? Running back into the town. To tell those wonderful people about Jesus Christ. Oh my God. And 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 they came. And they asked Jesus to stay with him. To, they asked that Jesus would stay with them. After a time. They said. Now it is not because of what the woman said. You know she was a testimony. She came to testify to us who you are. Now it's not because of her. But we have seen it for ourselves. Hallelujah. So I want to tell you that if you are truly seeking and yearning for God. In the wee hours of the evening when man is asleep. That is when he reveals visions and dreams to his people. If you are really seeking God. And if you are ready for his, for his glory to, to, to be revealed in your life. And if your heart is truly open. My brother, my sister, I can assure you that he will speak through you. I can assure you that he will move through you. I can assure you that you will gain revelation and wisdom from his word. Amen. So as a recap, a quick recap. The woman came to the well. She sees somebody at the well. At first, he was a different type of Jew. And he became a mysterious type of Jew. And then he became a prophet to her. She says, Lord. And then, now this same person is the Messiah. Her revelation grew as a result of communication. Her, rev her revelation grew as a result of conversation. Amen. I'm recording this um, video in the evening. So that's why I keep saying evening. This evening. Amen. This, whatever time that you may be watching this video, if you will allow yourself, if you will communicate with God, if you will, you will have a just a basic con conversation with God in your daily routines, uh, my brother, my sister, I tell you that He will reveal Himself to you. Amen. Amen. Thank God we know who Christ Jesus is. But that doesn't stop there. We continue to 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 press on. We continue to probe ahead and forward. Amen. In order to get more revelation, revelatory knowledge from him. Amen. So God bless you. I want you to understand that this woman represents something. This woman represents somebody that yearns for something deeper. Amen. Not just, not just what we see goes beyond the superficial. Amen. That is what this woman is yearning for. So I challenge you. I challenge your faith. Amen. This evening that you will continue. You will, you will persevere. Amen. You will push forward. Amen. To, to, to know more about the God that you serve. To know more about the Lord. To ask questions. Amen. Ask questions and, and speak to him in, in your private time. and Wherever that you may be. Amen. And I can assure you that greater revelation that you have never received before will come through you. Amen. So just like the woman at the well. I pray that you will also converse with the Lord Jesus Christ I pray that you will also communicate with the Lord Jesus Christ Amen and immediately she got the revelation the ministry that is in her bosom immediately she re re got that revelation the ministry, the ministry that was in her spirit man was birthed she went out there a woman that was living in sin because of communication with Jesus Christ my God, just one day with Jesus, she has had five. She she had five husbands, currently living with somebody that was not her husband. Just one day, 
just a set of conversation and communication with Jesus Christ changed her entire being. She ran out there with her ministry being birthed out of her bosom. And she went out there to preach to the people about their glory. She says, come and see the men that told, uh, told, me, uh, told me about the things that I have done. Isn't he the Christ? Amen. So I challenge you to do the same. I thank you for even hitting that play button. I had to, you know, uh, uh, record the video again because of some technical difficulty. So I thank you all for your patience. And I thank you all for, you know, once again, the love that you have shown me, you know, with Enlightened Radio. Those that know Enlightened Radio know Enlightened Radio. And Enlightened Radio will be coming back. And uh, I pray that you will continue to support it when it does. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. So once again, I'm Richard Okoria Duffo, and we will bring the teaching here to an end. And next week, amen, I'm not going to put a time limit on it, but uh, let's give glory to God and, 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 and you know, uh, we'll see what else he has for us. Amen. I don't know when he will give me another message, but whenever he gives me a message and is prompted in my spirit to record, I will do so. Amen. And you will receive the, the blessed word from our God, from the throne of grace. Hallelujah. Amen.